Hello, you lovely pieces of shits. My name is Mengs. It's still a million degrees in my room, and uh, it's time to play some more Fire Emblem uh, Echoes Shadows of Valencia. It's time to fight a forest north side battle, whatever that is. Probably a forest battle in the north side. That was a pretty stupid thing to say. <laughs> anyway, just Gazelle, really. Wow, this guy looks like some sort of porn star. Why the fuck is his name Gazelle? Wow, look at this guy. Oh my god, look at that. He's actually fucking standing on his horse. That is amazing. Oh, we got another witch. Oh, wait, they actually have a spell now. Or the teleportation spell is actually listed. Come on, can I not click on this thing? Come on. Okay, apparently, there we go. Uh, Alright, so there's a lot of archers here. So that probably means our archers should get a frontline seat. Yeah, this is like archer heaven. I think I know how I want to deal with this. I think I know exactly how I want to deal with this. So if we can, what we should do right here is we should put, um, of course, this 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 witch is a problem. But I think what we should do is we should put python and grape potentially forward, like so, or just gray, preferably because you know. Uh, and then, I mean, what would be awesome would be if we could just take down that witch, but I see that the witch is in a, in a forest, so that's probably not gonna work out too well. And then what we'll do is we'll just put everyone else, like, right on the outside of the archer's range, and we'll let Grey handle most of those guys. Uh, and hopefully we'll lure the others in once they're weakened, and we can send everyone just to pick off the low hit point guys. That's what I'm hoping for, at any rate. I got this. Alright, let's go. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Damn, these fucking booties. These fucking booties. Oh, okay. Looks like this witch is uh, completely content with just attacking from... Okay, come on, great. Oh! My god. That's a cool dodge. Alright, 30% chance to hit, 7 damage. I do believe Grey will be kicking a lot of ass to now, or not, okay. Um, he just needs to be a little bit lucky with the dodge. But this is exactly what I was talking about. By doing this, I'll allow Grey- Oh! Sorry! Sorry! People have pointed out that the crit quotes are a little bit weak in this game. I mean, I don't know, it sounds like they're just talking, you know, they should be yelling. But yeah, by doing this, I allow Grey to weaken all of the archers, and then I can preferably move in with my cavalry and finish them off. But the witches are kind of like strewed in here every now and then, just to, you know, make it a little bit difficult for you to take cover. Will the boss move? Yeah, so the boss is apparently kind of nasty, or he's a bow knight, so he's a third tier class. So we gotta be a little bit careful, but I think we should be able to deal with him. Um, I was thinking about actually trying a curved shot to try and take down this witch. 74% chance to hit. Let's go. So sorry about this. Wait, is that a crit? Oh, that was a crit! <laughs> hey, it was you or me. Good job, Python! Ah, okay, you gotta get a good level up there, or else you're hitting the bench. Well, that one. Uh, Python! Come on. Well, I'm wondering if maybe a heavy draw is justified against this guy. Come on, hit him. Fuck! Fuck my ass. That's not good. Okay. Right. So... Can we kill uh, the witch? Wow, this witch has, like, no fucking health. Maybe Cliff can take her down? Yep. He can. Only problem is now the archers are probably gonna go for Cliff, which is a little bit annoying. Hwah! Hey, he ran over the river while fighting her. Yet, he can't move over the river elsewhere? This is bullshit. I call bullshit. Anyway, I'm so glad I have another healer. God, it feels good to have another healer. I think I'll stay mostly back for now, though. Let's uh, heal the thought bot up. So yeah, Claire can't do shit in this context. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention, guys, I did some forging off-screen. So, uh, oh, nice, Saint. So Claire now has the five-star Meng's Lance, which is ridiculously good. Look at that. Look at that Lance. 110 hit, 8 might. And I also forged Alm's uh, Regal Sword into Durandangs with the gold coin I got from the uh, Sylvan Shrine. 
Forging the Regal Sword, I feel, is a good investment because it gets very good from it. Also, I do believe that's how you get one of the legendary weapons. Isn't that how you obtain the Mercurius or something? I don't know. Oh, gotta be careful there, Python. You're a little bit exposed. Yeah, this is this is the problem right here. By attacking that mage, I, I could have rescued Cliff with Faye actually. That was a little bit stupid. I should have done that. Oh, that's a double attack. That's a double attack. Uh, okay, good job, Python. Oh, here comes the boss. You have taken your last step in this realm. Now prepare to visit the next. The bosses are a little bit generic. I wish they'd have a little bit more build-up than just a portrait and a battle quote. I gotta be honest. Oh! Motherfucker. Okay, good. That's a sniper, isn't it? Yep. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. I like this passive healing, actually. It, it's nice. It's very nice. Okay, so I think we need to warp someone. Uh, can we... can we warp... Um, we need someone to deal with... You know, I gotta hand it to Echoes. It does take very good advantage of the terrain when it comes to enemies. Because... like, it's... What am I supposed to do against these fuckers right here? It's actually... Really frustrating to have to deal with this shit. What? Seriously? Yes, yeah, seriously. I think I'll actually just leave Gray here and have him deal with these guys. Yeah, <laughs> 69. Well, look at me. Though I'm wondering if the Bow Knight has increased range. Um, what was that? A bad level up. So, Gray can attack. He has bow range plus two. This guy has bow range plus two, so. That'll be fine. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll try to kill this guy with. with uh, no, not Clive. That is not happening. Ah, uh, maybe Claire? Because I can always rescue. Oh, the, the range on that isn't fantastic, but it should still get her out of, out of harm's way, I feel. Also, it seems- I'm not sure if effective damage just deals less damage. It could be because weapon might is lower. I don't know. Man, she looks gorgeous as a Falcon Knight. So what I was thinking about doing was simply just doing this. Just get her out- oh no, I didn't want you to go there. I think she'll be fine. Uh, I could recover up again though. God, I love having recover now. It's so nice. I think only one of them is in range of Claire, so I think we should be fine. Not a big fan of this, but... But Grey-sama should be able to deal with these guys nicely enough. Bum, bum. Yeah! Nothing like archers to counter archers, am I right? He doesn't- uh, Archer counterattacks, in a sense, doesn't really make much sense to me. I gotta be honest. It doesn't make a sen- It doesn't make sense to me that you would instantly retaliate towards anyone shooting at you. Oh, so I gotta kill that guy with an Excalibur or something. Hey, look at that! Doubling the boss. That's what we like to see. The dude has 42 hit points, though. But he will go down in time. Alright, so we healed up Claire. Uh, I mean, I guess we could... Ah, fuck, everyone moves so fucking slowly in this game. Alright, go Clive. I guess I'll attack the boss? What I could do is... Uh, I wish... Wait, wait a minute, I don't know. I don't have the Thunder Sword anymore. Would be awesome if I did, but I don't. I'm thinking maybe I should just send... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna warp Toby Poo up here. First, first things first, I'm gonna see if I can... Maybe I should just see if I can kill... No, I can't kill the boss, so I'm just gonna try to kill this guy instead. There we go, one less archer. And... Oh, that was Luthier. Oh, shit. Well, that wasn't... That wasn't what I was looking for, but okay. Oh, shit, never mind. I just realized he was one damage too low. But now he's fine, because he quitted. 
I was going to warp Toby Poo up, not Luthier, but yeah, I guess Luth Luthier needs the experience as well. He should become a Sage pretty soon. My One more level, I think. Nice! <laughs> nice! Uh, ba, ba, ba. Let's get Claire's, Clara Chan up, and I'm wondering, can I kill this guy? I'm gonna go down pretty low. 68% chance to hit, not fantastic. What if I do a hit and run? That won't be enough. May have overextended just a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna send Matilda in, nevertheless. Maybe I should just give them something to shoot at, like Lucas. Maybe they will shoot at him. I don't know. I don't know. Seal up. And maybe I I don't know. I don't know. I don't think this is a good idea. I think I'm just gonna stick with stick with Claire right here. We'll see what they do. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. I think oh never mind. I might be fine. Oh they're really Oh I just got double. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that was that was retarded. I should not have done that. He's so dead right now. So dead right now. I thought. Right. Well, it was it was worth a try at the very least. Um. Yeah, we wanna we wanna go back to before we yeah we did. Here's the thing: we didn't want to warp him. We wanted to warp Tobin up. That's who I wanted to warp up, because Tobin is actually tanky enough to survive on the front lines, and he supports with Gray. Let's keep that in mind. So I think think what we'll well the first thing we'll do is we'll heal up Gray. We'll just move Claire out of there. We can move Lucas in because honestly, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I can. Oh, 41. Get fuck it. I'm gonna go for it. I can Mila's turn will this back. Fuck me. Oh. All right, that's good. God fucking hell, the sages look amazing in this game. So the question, so the question is right now, is it? Is it safe against the boss? Leave this to me. I'm not sure about that, but we're gonna kill this guy anyway. I mean, we got the turn wheel, right? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, please dodge. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm such a fucking moron. Oh my. <laughs> no, you can't take it. Okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop doing stupid things. I'll stop doing stupid things. Shall we then? What I'll do is I'll just I'll just kill this guy with gray and I'll, I'll physics up on, gray. Just leave it to me. <sighs> there we go. Oh, right. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Nice. She's oh, that's so cool to actually see her re wearing a shield like that. Easy pickings. All right. Surely we'll be fine now. There you go. <laughs> That's the problem. You just gotta skip the skip the face and you'll be fine. Okay, now I do believe we can probably be a little bit more creative. So I'm thinking we warp Matilda in range. No wait, we don't have uh, we don't have you in range. Um, I'll physics up Gray. Fuck, I can warp Lucas in, can't I? Well, ah, if he had a steel lance, he would be able to attack there. You know, the Regal Sword has such high crit rate, I'm just gonna... What the fuck? Did you guys see that dodge animation? Oh my fucking god, that's a cool dodge animation right there. Come at me, fools. That actually looked amazing. Shall I then? Clive, get the fuck out of here. Fuck, I hate fighting archers. It's annoying as fuck. Oh wait, there's a fucker running back. Ow. Don't, don't try to kill me, Gazelle. Alright, can we kill their boss right now? Oh, 51% chance to hit. This is why we need Excalibur. Stand back. But, well, it gives us a good chance to, to go check out the uh, Baron animation, I guess. Ho ho ho! What have I done? Oh. Lucas! The fuck you doing, man? All right, let's finish off the stragglers. Attack, speed, and resistance. Ooh, unlock the double lion combat art. What's that? 
a two-hit attack. <gasps> oh, it's a brave, brave weapon attack. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. I love it. I will take care of this. All right, I will warp you closer so you can kill that guy with an Excalibur. Okay, I'm ready. Whoop. Okay, now we should be able to kill the guy. There you go. Yeah, I knew you'd go far. Okay, he can't crit. We're all fine. He can die next turn now. We just gotta go and deal with the fucker who, uh, who heals and then we should be fine. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, boy! Ah, oh, come on! Alright, fine. You know what? We're gonna test our new attack on you, you little piece of shit. Double lion combo. Let's go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. take that. No. To die at the hands of worthless vermin. How shameful. What a nice guy. Oh, ho, ho. critical. This is my strength. Wow, what an attack. Holy shit. Alright, that was easy. Actually, no, that was actually kind of difficult. Hey, can the next fight be less painful? <laughs> Don't think so, Gray. It's only going downhill from here. Alright. Oh, what's going on here? We got evil villain exposition time. I love evil villain exposition time. Back so soon, Burkut? Sire, I was merely... Are the tales true? You challenged the deliverance for sport and lost? <laughs> Forgive me, uncle. They proved to be more skilled than I first imagined. Hmm. What a most distressing turn of events. Our own Lord Burkut, broken by a band of farmers and cowhands. Did you mean to drag your knight's honor through the dung whilst playing? Hold your tongue. You are a servant to our house, and you dare insult Regel's finest? It is far more sensible for clods such as you to stay cowering in your robes. You forget that we answer to none but Duma, father of all Regel. Daddy Duma! Though I may be a servant, it is certainly not to you. We shall see who cowers in the end. This guy seems like a perfectly reasonable guy to have hanging around your castle. It's just like Alvis and the fucking Lopt sect all over again. It's like, yeah, you evil guys in robes worshipping some sort of evil all destroying god. Yeah, let, let's have those guys walk around in the house we live in. What are you implying? Emperor Rudolph, allow me to put your heart at ease. It is true that the Deliverance is nearing the Sluice Gate at our border. However... It is guarded by Tatara, one of the Duma Faithful's finest arcanists. And as I understand it, he has come across a most interesting toy. I have the utmost faith he will make short work of those rebels. <laughs> Sire! What now, Burkut? Tatara may yet fail. Permit me to take my men to the border. If the Deliverance does break past the sluice, they must reckon with me. Mm. This time I will smash their puny rebellion once and for all. I swear it. You must give me one last chance. Very well. If they try to set foot on our land, they are to pay dearly. Am I understood? Yes, uncle. Sire. What silliness. The rebels will be dead long before they reach the border. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> That's a very disappointing evil laugh for a guy that looks like that. I, I'd expected something like... <laughs> or something along those lines, you know? <sighs> hey, hi there, cutie pie. Burkut, my lord. Have you finished your report to the Emperor? Can we go fucky fucky now? Yes. We march for the border. Again? 
But we only just returned home. It was my choice. We had to beg the Emperor for a chance at redemption. All because of that maggot Ohm. Because of him, I had to sit there while that snake Jetta spat venom at me. I will make him pay for this disgrace a hundredfold. Oh, Berkut is mad. Why, Lord Berkut? What grieves you? I have heard good things about this lady. <sighs> Nui Baba, not you. I've heard she has them titties. These yep. halls have been dark without your unique fire to light them, my lord. Apparently she causes a lot of people a lot of frustrations from what I've heard. I shall treasure this meeting when I return to my post on Fear Mountain. Jesus Christ, those are some big ass titties. Master Jedda honors me, yet I hear he has not done the same for you. Perhaps because of your <laughs> embarrassing loss at the hands of those rebel scum. You faithful are in dire need of a lesson on how to speak to nobility. And I am certain you would be a most fearsome teacher. Regardless, you wrong me, Lord Bakut. I merely wish to aid you. Oh please, Mama Nui Baba. <laughs> how could you help me? All of you claw at the heels of your god while ignoring his first teaching. He wished for men to be strong, not a pack of supplicating fools. That's sexist. So, you do not need our power? I see. Then I pray you fare well in your battle at the border. For should you lose, well, I doubt your uncle would give you a third chance. Or is this the fourth? <coughs> for all your stubborn words, you have some wisdom. You have seen what the faithful are capable of in battle. I know it. Father Duma's power is vast. And not to be looked down upon. Lord Jeddah even went so far as to offer the father his own daughters. Yes, it's true. Marla and Hestia both. Huh. In turn, the father rewarded Lord Jeddah with incredible magic. His own daughters? How dreadful. Do you see now, Lord Bakut? If you would taste of Duma's power, I will conduct the ceremony myself. Hmm. Come to my abode. <laughs> Never. Victory over Ong would mean nothing if not won by my own hand. So prideful. Very well. But at least allow me to give you this. What is this? A mirror? One filled with my sorcery. Of course, I believe you when you say you have no need for such tricks. But one day, you may find yourself cornered and without recourse. Mirror of protection plus two. If that day comes, shatter the mirror. It shall answer your call. I don't need such baubles. Are you certain? <laughs> Think of it as a safeguard if that helps. Something... Mm, just in case. I would totally accept like a cursed mirror from these guys. They seem like they w are in. Like, they, they seem like they want my best. May the tides turn in your favor, my lord. <laughs> so Shonu Baba certainly got a lot prettier from when she was in Gaiden.